Today is the 29th Monday of Ordinary Time. The readings will come from Ephesians 2, 1 to 10, and Luke 12, 13 to 21. And so let's begin. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. From the letter of Blessed Paul, the Apostle to the Ephesians. And you, when you were dead in your offenses and sins, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of this air, of the spirit that now worketh on the children of unbelief, in which also we all conversed in time past in the desires of our flesh, fulfilling the will of the flesh and of our thoughts. And they were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, who was rich in mercy, for his exceeding charity wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together in Christ, by whose grace you are saved, and hath raised us up together, and hath made us sit together in the heavenly places through Christ Jesus that he might show in the ages to come the abundant riches of his grace in his bounty towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, for it is the gift of God, not of works, that no man may glory. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus in good works, which God hath prepared that we should walk in them. Deo gratias. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Gloria a ti, Bidomine. And one of the multitude said to him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who hath appointed me judge or divider over you? And he said to them, Take heed and beware of all covetousness, for a man's life doth not consist in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And he spoke a similitude to them, saying, the land of a certain rich man brought forth plenty of fruits, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns, and will build greater, and into them will I gather all things that are grown to me and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years, Take thy rest, eat, drink, make good cheer. But God said to him, Thou fool, this night do they require thy soul of thee. And whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich towards God. Laus tibi Christe. Christe. 